This is an introduction to the Dell Equalogic host integration tools for Microsoft Windows version 4.0. The host integration tools is a set of host client-side tools that simplify the configuration and administration of Dell Equalogic PS Series storage arrays on Microsoft Windows. Here are the components of the host integration toolkit. The remote setup wizard is used to initialize a PS series storage array and to set up and configure access to a PS series storage group. It's also used to configure multipath I.O. The remote setup command line interface or RSWCLI it's used as a command line alternative to the remote setup wizard. MPIO is used for redundant network paths between a computer and the PS series group for things like high availability and high performance. Dell Equalogic has developed a device specific module or DSM that plugs into the Microsoft MPIO framework that optimizes use of a Dell Equalogic array. Auto Snapshot Manager Microsoft Edition is used to create and manage smart copies which are basically snapshots, clones and replicas of PS series iSCSI volumes. You can also use the alternate command line interface, ASM CLI, for custom operations and scripting. The VSS provider is used by Virtual Shadow Copy Service, or VSS, to manage application consistent smart copies. The Virtual Disk Service, or VDS provider, is used by Microsoft VDS version 1.1, as well as Storage Manager for SANS, to do things like create and manage volumes in a PS series storage group. PowerShell tools. They're used for managing one or many PS series groups through a comprehensive list of PowerShell commandlets. The Microsoft iSCSI initiator enables connections to iSCSI targets. It's also required by the Remote Setup Wizard, Auto Snapshot Manager, as well as the VDS provider. The iSCSI initiator properties tab provides information about the status and history of the multipath connections supported by the multipath IO DSM. Essentially, there is a tab added to the Microsoft iSCSI Initiator Properties window, which is specific to the Dell Equalogic MPIO DSM. What's new in this release of the Host Integration Toolkit? There's a new graphical user interface that's been redesigned for version 4.0 of Auto Snapshot Manager. The GUI features a dashboard view that basically provides an at-a-glance overview of the hosts. Hit Groups. Auto Snapshot Manager has a new feature called Hit Groups, that provide you with the ability to manage multiple hosts from a single instance of Auto Snapshot Manager. Remote installation. There are now two methods for remote installations that really improve performance and save a significant amount of time that's typically required for large scale installations. There is also enhanced support for Microsoft cluster shared volumes, volume based collections. There are also some new changes related to volume based collections. There's new email alerting capabilities, as well as a list of new PowerShell commandlets. Let's go through some of these in more detail. The new graphical user interface for Auto Snapshot Manager, it's been redesigned to feature a dashboard that provides a general overview of the hosts, as well as volumes, iSCSI connections, schedules, smart copies, collections, and applications that you manage with Auto Snapshot Manager. By the way, Auto Snapshot Manager is no longer a Microsoft Management Console plugin. This is Auto Snapshot Manager's new redesigned GUI. Here you can see the easy to use and easy to navigate dashboard view. Hit Groups. A hit group is a group of one or more hosts that you are managing from Auto Snapshot Manager. Hit groups provide you the ability to manage multiple groups from a single instance of Auto Snapshot Manager. Also, you can now create and manage smart copies and smart copy schedules on all hosts simultaneously, as well as edit settings simultaneously on multiple hosts. What's great is that when a new host is added to an existing hit group, the host integration toolkit gets installed or upgraded on the remote host. Remote installation. So, if you're managing a large number of hosts, you can easily install the Host Integration Toolkit on each host remotely. 
You no longer have to log on to each host separately and manually run the installer on each host. There are two basic methods for remote installation. One is through the Add Host Wizard in Auto Snapshot Manager in the GUI itself. And there's also a PowerShell script which enables you to also perform remote installations. There is now enhanced support for cluster shared volumes. So you can create crash consistent smart copies of cluster shared volumes that contain all the VMs that reside on the CSV, including those that are running on other cluster nodes. Additionally, you can create file system consistent cluster shared volume collections. You can create smart copy schedules for CSVs or CSV collections. You no longer need to create a single schedule for each VM. Replicas and clones of Hyper-V virtual machines are supported for virtual machines on cluster shared volumes now. Here are the supported restore operations for smart copies and collections of CSVs. You can perform an in-place restore. You can perform selective restore. You can restore as new. And you can also clone and restore as new. Volume-based collections. So you can now specify whether or not you want a smart copy schedule for a specific collection to fail if the collection definition differs from the time the schedule was created. You can receive critical, warning, and informational email alerts from multiple hosts at once. Some of the alerts available are success and failure of schedules for creating smart copies, failure of MPIO related tasks, you can also receive low space notifications in the PS series group for snapshot reserve, clone space, and replica reserve. There are 10 new PowerShell commandlets as part of this host integration toolkit. Stop EQL member shuts down a specified PS series array. Restart EQL member shuts down and restarts a specified PS series array. Get EQL replica retrieves a list of replicas in a replica set for a specified volume. Remove EQL replica deletes a replica from a replica set. Get EQL volume connection retrieves configuration and statistics for iSCSI connections to a volume. Get EQL snapshot connection retrieves configuration and statistics for iSCSI connections to a snapshot. New EQL LDAP server this commandlet creates an LDAP server in a PS series group and it also registers the group with the LDAP server. Get EQL LDAP server retrieves identifying and status information for a named LDAP server or for every LDAP server in a PS series group. Set EQL LDAP server essentially changes the properties and authentication information for the specified LDAP server in a PS series group. Remove EQL LDAP server deletes a specified LDAP server in a PS series group. This concludes our introduction to the host integration tools for Microsoft Windows version 4.0. Thank you for choosing Dell.